What's up guys, Dwayne here, manual pedal. Just wanted to make a review on my Boyd Cycling wheel set. I've been getting a lot of questions about my wheels that I ride and my comments on my YouTube video and also been getting some emails about them too. So I thought I'd just uh, make a fast video and update you guys. I've been riding these wheels for about, uh, about a year and a half now, so let's jump, you know, jump into it. Uh, first off guys, uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. If you find this video, uh, please subscribe to the manual pedal. Um, just been trying to get my subscribers up here and um, spring's kind of rolling in. This winter has been kind of like hardcore with uh, storms and stuff. It's been really cold and my bones don't do too well in the winter time. So I've been doing a lot of indoor cycling. Um, so yeah, I've been riding these rollers here actually. But uh, yeah, in terms of my videos, I'll be banging out some more. There should be no excuses really, even though I, I do do a lot of work outside of the manual pedal. I would like to continue making these videos and produ producing work for you guys, you know? So uh, definitely subscribe to the channel. Hit that subscribe button somewhere over here or below the video. Uh, let's just jump into this uh, wheel set here. So I've had been riding these wheels for about uh, a year and a half now. I bought them last year. Um, the beginning of 2017 and as soon as I got them I jumped right into gear with them. I, these replaced my Shimano RS81 wheel sets uh, which are aluminum carbon mix. These wheels are just by far awesome. I was tied up between the Zips, um, the NVs and these. Um, I went with the boys because I've ridden the 60 millimeter dishes years and years ago and they've done nothing but delivered so boys awesome. They're out of South Carolina. Um, so I, I consider that pretty damn local. So, yeah, you know, they're just solid, solid wheels. They pretty much uh, laced with uh, Sapum CX raised spokes, which are really, really stiff, solid spokes. Uh, the hubs are also really good too. Uh, I know you guys might want to hear the sound that they make. So yeah, that's the sound they make. Um, these are actually replacement wheels. So quick story, I've been riding the other wheels, been racing on them, I podium with the other wheels. They're just super freaking aero and fast. You can really feel the difference though. Coming from my RS81s and throwing these on, I really felt how stiff and aerodynamic and how laterally you can, you can feel yourself on the bike, you know, in terms of its, um, it's all the overall active engagement with the road. You know, it's also very smooth going over bumps and stuff, although you might want to try to avoid them if you can. Um, I have these laced in a 24-28 pattern. Spoke pattern, 24, 25 front, 28 rear. It's a, they have different spoke patterns. I believe they do also 20-24s for lighter rider. I'm a little heavier set, so I recommend the higher spoke count. These are the 44 millimeter dishes, uh, super, super solid. So what happened with my last wheel set, the wear and tear throughout the year, I'm a pretty hard rider on my wheels. Um, I took them like on crits, climbs, um, been sprinting like crazy on them. Overall workhorses. Uh, the brake track on the other wheels had uh, began to cave in a little bit. So I was a little concerned about it. I reached out to Boyd. I told him what was going on. I sent him some photos. I've also um, sent them like my channel and everything so they knew like you know, I do videos and stuff like that so but um, I sent them in uh, not long ago actually maybe like uh, about three weeks ago and then um, they checked it out and they said hey man we're ready to ship out your wheels uh, we got your new replacement set 2018 models uh, hand built ready to go so they sent me a fresh set of wheels so I just want to thank Boyd for, for doing that and on the delivery time uh, just getting that over to me really fast because I mean the season just started as a crit this March uh, this week and I believe it's the Grant's Tomb which I'm not going to be able to make. I'm going to definitely ride down there and check it out but um, I'm not going to be able to make that one uh, in terms of the race because um, the slots are all closed out. So. Unfortunately, I won't be catching that, but I'll definitely be catching some other ones like the Prospect Park races, maybe the Central Park races, and some other crits coming up too. But um, other than that, these are the wheels. They're super, super stiff. If you're looking for an all-around wheel set, the Boyd 44 millimeter clinch is the way to go. It's the perfect um, match between riding in the climb, like climbing mountains, and also riding in um, crit races and such. 
training wheels, all around wheel set, really, really great. Really, really stiff laterally. Uh, the dish pattern, you can even see, I'll show you the dish where you can see it's pulled far to the left more so. And uh, they're awesome. I'm riding uh, compact cranks right now. These are the 50, 34s. I'm gonna step it up and get a, an R8000 Altegra and I'm gonna go to a bigger ring to a 52 to 36. So I think that'd be a good one for me and this year I just want to go a little bigger on the front. Compact's great. Don't get me wrong. I love it. I, I mean I've raced them. They're awesome. But I'm gonna go a little bigger in the ring. In terms of uh, the cage in the rear I'm shifting 11 uh, to 28. And um, I like it, I've always rode, I rode 25 at first, I didn't really like it, so I needed like a bit of a climbing gear in the rear, so I got a 28. Could have gone 32, uh, would have needed a longer cage. This is the SS cage, this is a short cage. This will be able to shift 11 to 28 gears. If you want a GS version, which is the long cage, Shimano Altegra, that's gonna be the, the GS version. That'll shift up to 11 to 32 gears in the rear. So personal preference, personal preference, that's all. But, um, other than that, these wheels are freaking awesome, man. So if you're looking for a new wheel set, definitely check out the Boyd 44 millimeter clinchers. They're gonna run you around 1600 uh, for the whole set. Um, I, you know, I, this, it's a bit of a, a pricey price tag, but I mean, listen, man, you can't put a price on fitness. If you got the cash, you know, just throw it in. It's an investment for your life if you wanna be overall fit. If you're in the cycling game, I've been riding bikes since I was a little kid, so this is what I do. There's no questions around it, and this is what I will be doing. Uh, for the rest of my life, <laughs> you know, I just love the sport. Uh, I've always been a cyclist. Um, I got into cycling after watching Tour de France on TV as a kid, you know, so, you know, BMX to this, you know, so <laughs> it's, a, it's been a crazy journey, guys. But um, yeah, in the front too, you can see the, the hub pattern. I got the NV fork over here. So the frame's a bit more custom than most other Chinese road carbon bike frames. If you haven't seen my carbon road bike video, the full one, you can check it out. I'll leave the video somewhere over here, maybe a link to it or the video itself. But um, yeah, guys, this is it here. The Boyd 44 millimeter clinchers. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. Also, guys and gals, subscribe to the Manual Pedal YouTube. Please subscribe, I'm trying to get my subscribers up, I'm trying to offer some more value up here. I do not get paid from YouTube. I do not get paid from YouTube. I don't expect to get paid. I'm just trying to offer some value. I want to get you guys um, out there riding and just share my knowledge based on cycling and everything and fitness overall and uh, the, the parts that I ride and hopefully it can help you make a little bit easier decisions uh, when you buy some stuff for yourself. So um, hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, just shoot me a comment in the, below and I'll answer it as soon as I can. And don't forget to subscribe to the manual pedal. See you in the next vid. Peace.